going on everybody welcome back to the channel appreciate you stopping by when i was a kid i used to love the show ultraman i believe the original came out in like 1966 live action show uh, ultraman was like a suit uh, superhero he wore this suit and he would fight off enemies uh, aliens that would come to the planet and uh, generally giant you know think godzilla if you've never seen ultraman before I don't know what to tell you. Ultraman was a fantastic show. And we used to love a lot of the Japanese kind of stuff like Ultraman and Godzilla. Saturdays was the day to watch stuff like that. We'd get up in the morning, watch cartoons, eating our cereal. And uh, shows like Ultraman, Godzilla. We loved to watch Godzilla movies. And uh, man, that was, that was our entertainment back then. But anyways, 2019, a new Ultraman came out and Netflix picked it up. And great show. I believe they have three seasons now. I've only seen the first season. I haven't had a chance to watch the second two seasons. I've got to get around to doing that. But anyways, I wanted to pick up an Ultraman Gumpla build. Here it is. This is by Bandai. Ultraman. Very glossy. I can't do anything about that. This is the suit Zoffy. They have multiple different Ultraman suits in the new series. Uh, this is his uh, the son of the original Ultraman. Uh, I'm not going to give any spoilers about the show, but he also has uh, powers, uh, superhuman powers, and uh, so uh, the new Ultraman is like a uh, uh, they're a group. There's more than one, so uh, he is the son of the original. Like I said, he has powers, and they bring him into the group. And uh, yeah, that's I, I'm like again, I'm not going to give any way spoilers of the show but that's kind of the premises of it and uh yeah i can't wait to get into this and start building it and uh put it on my shelf with my other gumpla type builds which i really enjoy doing so let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open all right guys here is the box of the ultraman suit zoffy Sorry about the glare. I'm going to try to hold it at an angle like this. This is a little bit better. Uh, so this is the front of the box here. We got the side here. There we go. There's nothing on the bottom. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what we got inside. All right, here are all of our sprues. Different packs of them here. Now, I fully expect to have uh, quite a few stickers, decals, I guess you would really call them. These are like the, I believe the water type decals. You cut them off, you dip them in water, and then you slide them on. This is nowhere near as big as the last Gumpla build that I did of Optimus Prime, but I will put them side by side when we're done to show the difference in size. Nowhere near the amount of sprues. Okay, so we do have stickers as well. These are stickers. All right, this looks like the energy uh things if you don't know he does this arm thing like that and he shoots these energy bolts out instructions assembly instructions here and this looks like our assembly guide right here i don't think this is a booklet yeah i think this one folds out all right so this is our assembly guide also guys this one can be lit up as you see the lights on it so i did pick up the light kit for it i could not find this on amazon now this, uh, this build here is on Amazon, and I'll leave a link to it in the description down below if you're interested in picking this up. That is on my Amazon affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more, and they throw me a few cents. And when I say a few cents, I literally mean just a few cents my way. But it does help the channel out, adds up over time. So, uh, But this particular light here is the white-blue-red light. I don't remember what I did with the packaging for it. I had to buy this somewhere else. I can't remember the site I bought this on. I might have bought it off of uh, eBay, actually. Uh, so you might want to check on there. Uh, the packaging will have the, the part number, I believe, for this. All right, so uh, if you zoom in right here, that is the light uh, there. Uh, this is in Japanese, but I believe it is called White Blue Red Light. Uh, I would just search that. Bandai White Blue Red Light Kit. Uh, it will. It should look just like the one that I just showed you uh, on the pictures. It's going to look like this. Now, they make kind of like disc ones that go in a lot of the uh, Gundam sets, but uh, this uh, this is different. So this is the one you're going to want to look for. All right, guys, so the box is all empty, so let's see if we can go ahead and get rid of this box. 
Uh, I did a pretty good job of it last time. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, let's get it centered here. Uh, takes a little bit of power. You got to have some special abilities to do this. It worked the last time. Let's go ahead and see if we can do it again. Ready? Holy cow, it worked again. I can't believe that worked again. Wow. With great power comes great responsibility. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not very responsible. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get to building.
All right, guys, we are all done with the Ultraman suit Zafi here from the Netflix series. Again, there's three seasons of this. Anyways, uh, guys, here he is, all finished. Uh, very cool looking. Here's his back. Uh, there are quite a few stickers on this, but they actually uh, they actually don't look bad. There's stickers on his boots. These are stickers. All the red stripes up and down the arms, those are all stickers across the top of the head. Uh, there, we can get it. There we go. That's a sticker. All these on the side here that make it a darker gray, those are all stickers. Uh, so they don't look too bad. Actually, they, they look all right, and I used all of them. So um, there is um, these here. Now, these are the water decals. This red one goes on the gun. Not really sure where the other ones go. I'd have to actually look in there to really see that. Uh, but uh, let's uh, go ahead and click on his light. In order to turn the light on, you gotta take his back piece off here and then use something to push the button. So go ahead and push it there. We got the blue with the white. I don't know how well that's gonna come through because the lights are so bright, but uh, his eyes glow and the chest piece uh, blue. His eyes are white. If you push it again, it goes to red. His eyes will always stay white. So the bottom uh, light changes from blue to red. His eyes will stay white. Push it again, it'll go back to blue again. Push it again, it'll go back to red again. And then push it one more time and it'll go back off. All right, there's also a timer on this, so if you forget to turn it off, it turns off itself after a few minutes to preserve the batteries. Go ahead and put the back back on. There we go. Super cool. All right, he comes with different arm pieces and they just pop off like this. You just pull the arm piece off like that. And then we'll put on one of the uh, like laser blade pieces here. Just pops right on there, just like very easy. And now he's got the, uh, the laser blade arm piece and then there's also one uh, with the open arm piece with the big laser blast that's when he does you know he does this move here and he shoots the laser out of his arm that's this piece here i showed you guys some uh, video and pictures uh and before this so right after the build so you can see what i'm talking about very cool very cool Love this build. Wasn't a real difficult build, guys. This only took me maybe around three hours to build. Uh, so uh, nowhere near as advanced as some of the other ones. Again, for height-wise, I will show you here now uh, the different sizes between down here on the right. We have um, Trumpeter Bumblebee uh, from the Bumblebee movie. And then, of course, we have Ultraman that we just built. All right, and then we have this Gundam here. So, you know, you can see the difference in heights. Uh, just for reference, the Ultraman is about six and a quarter inches tall. The Ultraman's a little taller than that. I think he's around seven inches or so, maybe just over. Okay, then we have Master Chief, and uh, he's even bigger still. And then, of course, the big Mama Jamba. We have Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. I uh, built that on here as well. I'll put that video link right up here uh, at the top corner so you can watch that video as well. A really good video with great model now uh, you know of course uh, the trumpeter model the one on the right the other three here are all Bandai and then Optimus Prime is Yolo Park uh, these are all great models guys I love building these it's kind of like a mix between Lego and like a puzzle you know so uh, super cool I, I again I like I love these models they are great and uh, make sure when you get one of these, if you're just starting, get a simpler model. Maybe go with like a, one like the Bumblebee model, or uh, or even this one. This one is not uh, this one is not a difficult build. The most tedious part is getting the stickers on right, um, but they're very forgiving. You can kind of get them started, peel them off, get them started, peel them off before you really press them in hard. So they're very forgiving. Uh, and uh, not that difficult, but it is a little bit tedious to get them on because they're pretty small. So, But other than that, guys, I do highly recommend this model. If you're interested in this, again, I will leave a link in the description down below to my Amazon page where you can pick this up. 
Uh, doesn't cost you any more, but they do throw me a few cents, and I do mean a few cents uh, for uh, for going that route, and I appreciate it. Uh, again, guys, if you like these kind of videos, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up, and then walk over there and hit that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo, and this is Black and Red Builds. See ya! Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.